Good morning from Norway everyone. Day three, brand new mark again, trying a different mark today called Stroman. What is it? Stroman. Stroman. Yeah, Stroman. Um, fishing over low water again, um, about two hours before low water. Gonna fish it down to low and then move to the left on over slack water and I took some big baits uh, for monster cod. Uh, I've only, uh, in the past, uh, there have been some monsters uh, came out, came out of here, up to 50 pounds. <laughs> but uh, we're after any, well, I'm after a double. Yeah, I'm um, just fishing my rod at the moment, just looking where the tide's running. And uh, go from there. Um, Bait-wise, uh, just uh, freshly dug a um, ragworm on a pulley panel rig just a usual uh, pulley panel like you use uh, back home in the UK <coughs> fantastic view again check this out for a view and a mark amazing I got Ricky fishing to my left today Craig to my right and Adam look down there if you can see and then William far further send yeah first cast in now hoping for a fish uh, it's been very hard going to uh, say the least uh, some of us not even uh, catching but first night everyone caught except Craig and then yesterday me and Craig done all right, and uh, Adam blanked up until the uh, evening tide, and uh, managed to get his uh, haddock, which was the biggest one. Uh, you, if you watched the previous video, you would have seen it, uh, just over three pound haddock. And uh, he had a couple of cods. Uh, I've had two small cods, codlin. Yeah, it's been very hard going. Uh, fished three marks yesterday, and uh, yeah, but uh, we're on to a different mark today. So hoping for a fish today. Hope. Big cod, lovely spot. Pretty much flat here, and uh, like I said, I'm gonna move to the left. Tide's still running quite a bit, so just waiting that tie to ease down, it made it deep apparently so I chucked big uh, blue bait out there over low uh, chance of big cod here, place apparently and uh, maybe I think we might be trying uh, lures there for big cod fish and cod and by the way it takes the lures yeah fingers crossed for today hopefully get some fish it's been uh, very slow, but we only had uh, one full day yesterday, and uh, we on to a 12 hour shift here, we're not moving, so we're fishing left, centre and right all day, trying to find the fish, so stay tuned everyone, hopefully get some monsters on the, on the camera for you. First fish coming up guys, on the new mark. Rug bait. Straight rug this one here. Yeah. Looks like decent fish as well. We've got a bit of a ledge in front of us there. Falls in so we need to pull it up over it somehow. It's coming up. Made it here. Nice cut I think. I'm guessing. Yeah. Nice cod. There we go. Get in. Thank you. Well done, bud. On a straight rack. Look at that as well. 
on the panel hood. Perfect. First cast in, strong. First, yeah. Crack on it. Lovely fish. I've got four or five pound mark. Yeah. And that was going for tea. Yeah. Hold <laughs> <laughs> well on. Hold on. I need to get my rod pack. We all actually moved from that uh, that top of the hill we were, me and Craig. Moved into the river. <coughs> yeah, for a few hours. Tidies a bit so we're gonna give it a go here. So well, stay tuned everyone, hopefully we get a monster out of here today. Fish on, Adam's on. Uh, oh no! What? Snagged? Yeah, it's gone into the snag. Yeah, it's still there. Come on. It's out, it's out, it's out, it's out. Pull it out fast. Uh, he was loading with the shots. And, uh, Adam let it line out then. You seen it? No. Oh, see that colour. Oh, it's no monster. But well, good to have him on the lures. No monster. Well done, bud, on the shots. Well, hey! Get in. First Norwegian cod caught on a low. Not a bad size. Couple of pounds. On the shots. Have you? There we go. Around a bit then. Anywhere. See the low there? But just on that just a cheap flayden paddle tail and that's on a jig head made by yeah. Will. Hardy's uh, laws and leads. Go check them out on Facebook. But yeah. Nice little Norwegian cod on the law. Beautiful. Literally as soon as it hit the bottom, snagged into it, just smacked straight into it. So we'll cast back out and see if we can get a bigger one. Get in. Adam's on again, on the shot. On the low rod, but better fish. Hopefully, keeps him out of the snag. It's fighting better than the last one at least. Yeah, definitely bigger. You can tell. He's only got a light rod and light spinning reel as well. I think this one's rated to 130 gram, this one, 40 to 130. Oh, rod's quite heavy, is it? Yeah. But the reel's pretty small. Yeah, it looks, I think it's probably 3,000. 3, yeah. Whoa, nice look fish. At that. Definitely better fish. See the nod. Fighting in the current as well. Yeah. Ooh. Come on. Keep it up, brother. Might have to go over there. Go over there. It. Keep really in as you walk. Oh, yeah. Nearly here. Closer. Yep, near here. Just keep it over. Oh, he's fighting these. right till the end. Look at that. Bending the rod. Near here. Keep it over the kelps. Uh, oh! Ooh. That <laughs> is a nice one. <laughs> Cracker. Oh, look at that. Cracker, mate. I'll bring it to you, Matt. Yeah. Oh, be careful. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Oh, it's not coming out. That's not coming out, but... Whoa, look at that! <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell! That's got to be a PB. <laughs> PB on the low, Rob. Mate, that's look a... Look at that! Clonker. Get in there! Oh, that's oh, a might, good fish. You might beat my PB, bud. Oh, look at that. That wasn't going anywhere as well. Whoa! <laughs> oh, crack on Chunky cod, that. Wow, you need a picture of that. Definitely get a picture of this one. See the law there? 
rhubarb and custard doing the business they work well for me on the wrecks back home so <sighs> mate that's a cracker made up with that that's a chunky boy as well that's got to be close to doubles i'm getting my load out there we are guys cracking that that got to be seven eight it's got to be up there high up there it's definitely a pb yeah chunky fish well done adam oh, cheers hack thank you mate Check this out for a tide run, guys. Look at them ducks there. <laughs> All them ducks there, sat on the current there, floating. Mad rush of a tide here. We're just packing up off here now. So far, I'm the one on here who haven't caught. Tried lures, lost about four there, and uh, gave up. And as I was casting out of wind knot, so been uh, fiddling with that. But uh, we move the marks again, going to the other side, where a bit of a less uh, current there. The, this current goes, as you can see, the, the color of it changes there. This current rushes through there. We're gonna get back on to that nose there, that point, and fish it into the tide there. Hopefully, get some uh, fish. So far, Adam's got a massive quad on the on the there. Uh, Craig got about five pound there, and uh, William on the other side. He had a couple of you know, double shots of a uh, quad bin on the vessel's rig. And uh, Ricky had uh, about two pounds before. So, just me uh, packing up, just moving over there. So, stay tuned, get back to you shortly, guys. Then we arrive in our uh, spot. What a lovely spot is on. Target in place mainly, but I've got a big bait out for anything really. Uh, big cod, haddock, uh, coley, that was. First drop, literally. We're fishing on the pontoon at the moment. Well, the place called Rora. Literally down there, 30 meter deep, so very deep mark off the pontoon. 
and they're quite a few part far as well. And their first drop had a nice little bite, but I was sitting in the other rod, so I missed it. I've uh, been fishing uh, since 8 o'clock this morning, on the other little uh, scorpion fish. That was it. But Adam uh, had a cracking cod early on, one of those. Everyone caught except Bala caught, but not counting that scorpion fish. <laughs> what a day. Proper place for weather. Sun's out shining. Just thought we'd give it a go on the way back to the digs. See if we can wrinkle uh, at least one place in between us. Just got a uh, Vesic Reefs out uh, for place and a big pulley panel, seesaw, bottom and a five or circle of one of the big baits, uh, Bolivia and a uh, black look wrap. Come on, the fish. We got um, what we got left now, sunrise. It's two and a four minutes past three, so we got a good three hours of sun. So hopefully, some place down there under us. Uh, one of uh, Craig's mates uh, mentioned about this uh, mark. If I just drop it down to the pontoon, uh, some nice place down there. Hopefully, up to like four or five pounds. So. Fingers crossed everyone. It's not been the uh, best of session for me, but I'm not arguing what a stunning place this is. Only been here, this is our third day, well two and a half day. We arrived late on the first day and uh, falling in love with the place. Definitely come back. But yeah, um, stay tuned, hopefully get a uh, that rod or other rod. Is that a bike? Left hand side rod. It's got half a bluey. Got a bit of slack line there and uh, tighten that up. Anyway, stay tuned everyone. Hopefully get a one fish here at least before we move to a different mark this evening. Check these bad boys out guys for ragworm. Well over 30 centimeters that. While we're waiting for a bite, just getting the next bait ready to be casted out. Roll the bait. Bit of a bend in that. Oh, lovely haddock. <laughs> lovely haddock, eh? Not the target species. But welcome fish after a hard day. So I took a right in. Gonna give you a quick shot. There we go. Only a couple of pounds. But uh happy with that. Uh, take this bait out and then I can get it sent back. Anyway, see you know everyone, hopefully get a place. That's what we're after anyway. Cheers. Oh that's a flounder. Nice one. Not a bad side, you know. It's like when you get back home. Yeah. Beautiful. Like you were off the place. Up, yeah. Well, at least there's flatfish about, yeah? Yeah, nice one. Can't complain. Turn around this way, Adam. Uh, get, get in the light. Yeah. There you go. Not a bad one. Yeah, not a bad one. Definitely a flounder. Yeah. It hasn't got the ridges of the uh, place yet, and it's yeah. rough going that way. Mm -hmm. Definitely found a more diamond tint. Weather's turn for the verse. Tempest is dropping rapidly. Wind picking up. 
not much coming out at the moment, but we've not been here long. Only had a couple of casts. But at least we've seen a flat fish and uh, another species on the tally. About 30, 30 yeah, 31 centimetres. Definitely about. Bandy, yeah. yeah. Uh, shame this one's gone now, but I still have a chance. This will be the, probably the first part, day three. Part one, and uh, we had the night tonight, so that will be the part two. Hopefully, get a couple more fish before we move out to this mark, and uh, that will be it for this video, guys. Thanks for sticking by. It's not been a busy session, but people think you turn up to Norway. And I expect fish all the time and the big fish but no you have to put the times in like you do back home so we're definitely putting the time in we've been out since we've been fishing since eight and they're coming up to four now so that's a solid eight hours fishing uh, probably fish a few more hours after tea and uh, we're thinking of uh, going for Hollywood tomorrow. Big baits out tomorrow, big fish baits. So hopefully at least one of them get a run, even if we catch one, that'd be even better. Anyway, stay tuned everyone. That is the last fish we wanted. Hagfish is it Adam? Yeah, hagfish. Oh, not even hooked. There's they just got... latch on so they do, they wrap around it. Yeah, and they've got a little white in. Yeah, a little white. Nice uh, live bait nice. size. Minging fish. Is this slimy, yeah? Yeah, they're very slimy. They, secu uh, they secrete mucus when they feel attacked. Yeah. And that's what gets covered on your rigs. It tangles up your rigs because they squirm around. Alright. Alright, get him. Get him back in anyway. He's got a funny mouth, isn't it? Yeah. It's covered in. I'll probably do it. Oh, yeah. Look at that full mouth. Open, open wide. <laughs> Took you back, I think. Big cop smashes that mouth. That's my uh, how many species are it now? Five, six. First light in off the trip. <laughs> anyway, get that bait out again.